everybody, Suzy Q here, and welcome to Q Aquatics. Well, today I'm going to say welcome to Q Aquatics and Exotics. I would really love to know what you think about that. Aquatics and Exotics. Today, though, I want to introduce you to a very special guest. Her name is Sapphire, and she is my blue tongue skink. I am so excited to introduce you to her. I have been looking for her for a very long time, and I have gone reptile show hopping looking for her. And I knew if I saw her, I would recognize her. And that's exactly what happened. So let me bring you along on the journey of how I found Sapphire, my blue tongue skin. So I have several local fish stores, and one of them is right near my campground. And he does some expos, and he suggested that I try to go to the one in White Plains, New York. So it was my first time there. I usually go to the expos in either Hamburg, Pennsylvania, or Oaks, Pennsylvania. Those are the only two I've ever been to. So this time I went to White Plains, New York. It cost me $10 to park, <laughs> which I'm not used to. But wow, huge. So when I first started walking around, I wasn't really enjoying the show. I had a mission. I was looking for a northern blue tongue skink, the Taliqua skinkoides intermedia. It's a northern blue tongue skink from Australia. But I started walking through the show, skipping from table to table, asking people. I saw a couple of skinks from um, Indonesia, um, and they were beautiful, beautiful animals. It's not quite what I was looking for and it's not what I was researching so I kept looking then I came across these people oh, 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 yeah. and she is a Taliqua skinkoides intermedia which is one of the largest uh, blue tongue lizards maybe not the longest but definitely the girthiest so her mom is an orange sunset and her dad is a red creamsicle She's got beautiful patterning. She's about nine months old. And I built her her habitat, which is, oh, look at her peeking out. Oh my gosh, I take it over the cuteness and that tongue. They use that as a defense mechanism. But this is the enclosure I built her. It's like a 40 breeder, same uh, footprint, same footprint as a 40 breeder. It's just front opening. And I gave her lots of places to hide. It's a bioactive, so her, the enclosure has been set up for quite some time with some isopods and springtails. Now she's eating cat food because she's under a year. So I'm giving her wet cat food, a spoonful about the size of her head. Oh, look at that gorgeous blue tongue. All right, keep it over it. She looks like a dinosaur, doesn't she? Oh my gosh. Oh, what a face, what a face. I'm absolutely head over heels in love with her. But I'm leaving her alone in her enclosure right now. She's getting comfortable. And I'm just enjoying her. You know, her formal name is Talinquis Kinkoide Intermedia. I think I said that already. She's also, the nickname is a Northern Blue Tongue Skink. Look at her, she got food on the end of her nose. Oh, I'm sorry guys, but I just can't help. I had to introduce you to her. I had to show her off a little bit because I'm just absolutely head over heels. Oh. Yeah. So thanks for putting up with me and thank you for checking out my new blue tongue skink, Sapphire. See you next time guys and we'll be back to fish.